What's happening? It's Shorty, your host of VidIO. We are featuring artists who are independent only. We're playing music videos for the next 30 minutes. And um, we're gonna get into the videos after I introduce my guest, I'm so happy to have <laughs> Stranjay. No, just kidding. I'm so happy, so happy to have Houston Alexander, um, just a really good friend for, for many years. I appreciate you so give much. Some, give me some elbow. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. Um, been in hip hop and, and just really the Omaha community in so many different ways for a really long time. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to have you here and talk to you. Well, thanks for, thanks for having me. I've never been a guest on a show. <laughs> I know. I don't know if I've I, I, ever. I, I'm like, only, I've, I've been the one to actually ask the questions and do all the independent stuff. Now I'm on this uh, great show. Yes, and, and I'm this, excited. This balloon full of, full, full of stuff. And uh, is that a young green this gal? Is our, this is our giveaway. Um, yeah. This is our um, giveaway to people who follow us on YouTube. And mm -hmm. I'm going to get into that later. Okay. But um, like I said, we have videos to play. So our first one is coming from Big Ben, featuring L Mac. This is VidIO. Lie to me, please, just lie to me. It's some better when you lie to me. Ready when you lie to me. Tell me the truth, the truth hurts, ooh, the truth, the truth hurts, the truth, the truth hurts, never tell me the truth, the truth hurts, they always tell me the truth, the truth hurts, ooh, the truth hurts, the truth hurts, so I'd rather have you lie to me, oh, I'm better when you lie to me oh. When you lie, you don't cry to me yeah. It's I'm better when you lie to me It's I'm better when you lie It's oh. I'm better when you lie I like it when you lie to me yeah. It's I'm better when you lie to me Because they tell me the truth the truth hurts, ooh, the truth hurts, the truth hurts, you know they tell me the truth, ooh, hey, 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 hey. ooh, yeah. When you go and lie to me, might it be the spot I see? I'ma be a hundred with it, even if you try me. Good thing I can only trust your honesty. I'ma keep it real, but I can never do the promising. I've been through a lot of shit. People always doubt of me. Same was I forgiving all the words who up and out of me. I was chilling when they caught up, when they caught up at the bottom. I forgot if I was gonna put you proud of me. Can tell you what I feel like right now. I tell you what I mean when I find out. Can tell you how to move. That's not you, yeah. I'm better. And walk up in my shoes, who are you? Yeah. So hot, I'm jumping out oh, the gym, need no boost, yeah. I'm feeling out of place, not in new way. I only speak the truth, what I do say. I'm ballin' when I can, I don't who yeah. I keep it on the move, kinda mood, eh. All this is for you, tell you to share. You know they tell me the truth The truth hurts Ooh, the truth hurts The truth hurts If you about to go and break me I'd rather you lie If you about to go and hurt me I'd rather you lie Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I just want to keep it real with you I ain't loving you how I'm supposed to Girl, I'm in love with the money In love with money Been getting money Been counting hundreds I just want to keep it real with you I ain't loving you how I'm supposed to Girl, I'm in love with money I'm in love with money Been getting money Been counting hundreds Yeah, yeah so Fake, and I hope that you know I've been pushing all this weight I've been doing this shit for broke Yeah, I throw up gang signs Cause ATM is all I know I remember being bro Remember I ain't with no coke All them late night hoodies on You know I got my pole But I'm booted off of my mop Nah, I ain't cold I make it bright up in this bitch The light on my pole Just like a stripper bitch You get to twerk and snatch your soul Niggas really just be mad Cause I be on my own In a fast ass coupe Hell nah, it ain't no room In a deal with the You. I ain't loving you how I'm supposed to, girl. I'm in love with money. I'm in love with money. Been getting money. Been counting hundreds. Yeah, yeah. This is vid.io, that's independent only. All the artists featured in our show are unsigned. Uh, so Bobby. excited to have, um, I mean, you're legit famous. Legit no. famous not only in Omaha, but when you came to visit me in Denver, that's when I learned he's legit famous. Mr. Houston Alexander, hey! Look at the camera. <laughs> Um, I've been friends with you a really long time, and you've been supporting local music mm -hmm. since day one, and just the hip hop culture in general. Um, you. But hold on, let's get. We got to start at the beginning, though. Okay. We got to start at the beginning where we met. We met at at the radio station. Hot one hundred seven seven and ninety seven three. We both got hired at the radio station about yes. about the same time. You were hired before me. I believe so. I don't know. You. I think you the were already ring? the street promo guy. I was. The in office promo yeah. girl. So we both we both started with with, with 1077, Hot 1077. If you guys don't remember that, the but, only uh, choice you, for you hip hop and R&B. The only choice for hip hop and R&B. <laughs> but uh, you you were the promotions director uh -huh. at the time. See? Well, at first I was the light rock promotions director <laughs> because they um, how should I put this? They said I wasn't um, from the right area of town, or they're looking what? for someone that's more connected to a certain community and I was like so you couldn't fine. be the pro promotion that's fine that's looking at me you would think that I don't know about okay. hip-hop in 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 the, the community and okay. the culture um but they learned pretty quick but said but it's, it's funny you became the promotion director for for uh, a hip-hop radio station hip-hop and R&B radio station yeah and and you DJ Yes. See? I was they, DJing yeah. at Club Patrick's. But, and also, <laughs> see, what you guys don't know about your, your host here, she all, you also ran a radio show at, in college. Yes, I did. What was the name of the show? Wayne State College. TNT Club Cuts. <laughs> TNT. It was the 90s. <laughs> TNT is Trisha and Trisha. Okay. Short T and TJ. That's my best friend. So, She's so, in radio as well. So, so we, both, we both are independently connected in a lot of ways. And so right. you were already doing... You know, you were already DJing, and yes. I was already doing, you know, a lot of hip-hop stuff already. So, mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah, we've we've I been didn't... knowing each other in that, in that capacity for a long time. Yeah, and been peas and carrots ever since. So, um... What was you... that? What was your, what was your favorite hip-hop moment, in, you know, from, you know, that radio station era? What was your favorite hip-hop moment? The radio, like, back in the Hot 107 days? Yeah, back in the Hot 107 days. Oh, my gosh. A Goody Mob? Okay. When Goody Mob came to South Beach, that was super there were, exciting. There was a lot of groups that came during that era, but, but I, I think and I'm going to start our interview like this. See, there was a You're not interviewing. I'm not I interviewing. am. I'm not, I know we're not interviewing. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We both, we, but we go on back and forth. We, we okay. Tennis, we tennis rocking. Let's go, that. let's but, go. But here, I'm, I'm going to share a great story okay. about, <clears throat> about when Rick Ross, mm. Marcus Houston, Yes. Uh, who else? Who else was uh, out there at the Carter Lake? Um, and and, I don't know. and, I and if you're if you're watching the show, you're, you're gonna you're gonna kill me because you know there was it was Rick Ross, 
uh, uh, um, E40. 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 It was Marcus so Houston. hot that day. People uh, were passing out. Powder Lake. <laughs> uh, we had uh, we had did the Stone Soul Picnic. Yeah. And that's what the, the theme was. That was the name of the show. And uh, it was a free show. And we had over 10,000 people at Carter Lake. Mm -hmm. From all in over. In the middle of the day in July. In July. And it was like yeah. 98 we had, we had alcohol. We had alcohol. We, you, we had alcohol permission for people to drink alcohol. Yeah. We, we had the whole nine. And, and uh, we had 10,000 people. Free concert. Rick Ross. Uh, uh, Marcus Houston. E-40. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not for sure if we had another artist. But I think it was Busy B. Uh, uh, DJ Rip, all those guys, uh, all yeah. the DJs in the city was there, and we had 10,000 people there, and nothing happened. It was peaceful. Everybody yeah, it was, was peaceful. Just, it, it was and just it like, was super hot. People was, get aggravated when when it's hot, and yeah. there was not an issue. But it was a great time. But it, it, to me, that showed that we could have an event, a peaceful event in the city, and we can do. We can have all these artists there, and we have all these people there, and have a peaceful event. Because mm -hmm. you know, the majority of people that want that we want to be peaceful. We want our kids to be safe. We want everyone to be be cool when we're at a concert. Mm -hmm. And to me, that was a perfect day. That kind of summed up the, our, our whole uh, uh, vibe at at uh, Hot 1077. I just remember it started <clears throat> raining at the end, and I got my free barbecue, and I did not even care. So when it when it rains, I was that, just that, sitting that, there, just Negroes Negroes scatter when when rain <laughs> when the rain. It was yeah, over once it rained. Like, oh, 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 no, no one's your hair. We out of there. Eat my barbecue. <laughs> I was. But that was a. Off. But that again, that was one of those moments. And, and get, we, we might still be sitting down and doing an interview thing, but we are just talking. And this is what we do on a regular basis. We talk about hip hop. We talk about you all know, the life. Time. And we yeah. just talk. Yeah, we do this all the time. So it's mm -hmm. easy. Let's talk about the Houston Alexander Foundation. Um, the main focus is uplifting kids mm -hmm. and, and letting them know that they can achieve their passions, their dreams. They mm -hmm. got to work hard in school. Um, this is really the first year that we haven't been in the schools doing Culture Shock school tour, exactly. which it? is been, like hard. Oh man, that's crazy. We, we, the pandemic got everybody panicking. <laughs> man, so we're, we're not in there, but the, I mean, I'm sure we'll get back to it. And the mm -hmm. goal of that is to teach them about the hip hop culture and mm -hmm. to inspire them and 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 encourage them to pursue passions in their life. Yeah. Um, so talk about starting the Culture Shock School Tour. It was a long time ago that yeah. you started it. We were now we we started the the Culture Shock School Tour when again we go we come back to Hot 1077. Mm -hmm. uh, the the radio station was looking for a way to get out in the community. Yeah. And one idea I already had on the table. Well, hey, let's go into the schools, teach the kids about hip hop culture. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do we we, we b-boy, we DJ, we have the great you know the graph in the background. All the elements back. are we there. All the elements are there, and you go in and teach the kids about the culture mm -hmm. because a lot of kids uh, know nothing of the culture. All they know is is rap. Mm -hmm. They don't know anything about beatboxing or 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 the art or the dance, all the other passions of the of the of the art of the art for it. I'm getting tired of people. Let me put let's put this out here right now. Yeah. I'm getting tired, tired of people calling rap hip hop. <laughs> okay, it's rap music, <laughs> hip hop culture. Okay, let's get that straight. <laughs> hey, I do hip hop, or when you or you when you see people do all the video dancing, but they call it hip hop. No, it's mm -hmm. not hip hop. It's, it, hip hop is a culture. It's not. It's not a dance Hip hop style. versus rap. Yeah. They're all. They're the way. Hey, rap together. is the under the umbrella of rap. Right, uh, of hip hop, excuse me. Yes. So, so then you got b boy, and you got you got all these different elements under the umbrella of hip hop, and I think uh, and rap is one of mainstream, them. Mainstream, yeah, and mainstream. Rap is an all, element of hip hop. I have a T-shirt that says that. Thank you, and, and everyone, <laughs> everyone, I always had they want to categorize something, yes. you know, in the mainstream media, but it's all under the culture, and that's why you know. Uh, um, you have b-boying right now in the Olympics to, in two, 2024. I know. So, so, so what but, do you think but, about that? But that, but it leads. What's your thoughts? But no, but it leads us up to the culture shock to, tour. Yeah. We're going to talk to kids, but having the foundation to to help um, explore other options to help the kids. That that's why mm -hmm. we started the foundation. Mm -hmm. we but now it's considered you, a sport and not an art. Like not is, a, well, that what, not, is that what that means? B boying is not a sport. The, it's, a, uh, it's a dance. Right. So so all they did was add a uh, dance to the Olympics, but we, but I get there's a, there's a lot of mixed reviews from old timers yeah. who say that you know b-boying is a dance, it's a it's a it's a feeling, it's a it's an expression, 
it's not a it's not a competition where people will go in and go. Where they're marking off. Oh, you get a, you get a ten for this. You did and this. A ten for you that. did this. You did exactly. this. Exactly. I get so that. Those, those, those I get an expression. That. Just yeah. like uh, just like a lot of people stop uh, going to the DMCs because they they allow DJs because that DMC is a, is a DJ competition uh, internationally. Mm -hmm. A lot of people stop going because they're allowing pre-recorded. Mm -hmm. Mixing mm -hmm. and, and and at the DMC and, and, and they what, want it to just DJing is just wild. It's, it's a wild thing. Table, yeah, it's just a wild thing. So you know, I, that. you know, time times change, but but you know, some traditions should stay the same. And and, and there's a lot of um, opinions on on the Olympics. I thought at first I thought it was a good thing, but it, they have to make sure they do it right. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do the Olympics, you have to make sure you do it right. If it, b boy, if you're looking at b boy, make sure you're looking at a dance style, dancing not just in, as a sport. Even though we some B-boys are better better athletes than, than some of the most people that are out there. Right, seriously. that's a fact. That's well, a fact. Well, we will see. We will see how they take it, how they, how they roll it yeah, all out. Yeah, but it's, it'll be cool. It's, it's good, it's good, but we don't want them to take mm -hmm. B-boying like they took rap. That's just the bottom line. Industry took rap. Mm -hmm. name, name someone that owns, owns their own label. That, that's, that's, well, everything is on the internet right now. But name a, a predominantly, the predominantly black or Latino label that's out there right now. Besides Bad Boy, who's probably still owned by someone. Dr. Dre's, you know, label. Mm -hmm. But name anyone that has a, a predominantly wealthy company. Name somebody. Besides Dre. Dr. Dre. <laughs> Besides Dr. Oh, that's, that's pretty goddamn easy. Dr. Dre. Well, we got to wrap it up. This is only a, a half hour the, the show. Wrap, wrap, it wrap it up. Are you giving me the wrap it up box already? We're, we're, yeah, we're doing the... Hold that, hold that. <laughs> Give me the wrap up box already. <laughs> the wrap up. Already. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Anyways, much. thank you so much for coming. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure much. that we'll have you again. Okay. And well, we'll, we'll have plenty more to talk about. Two things. Check out that. Check out, yeah. Check out the Houston Alexander Foundation. Please. Okay, please. Yes. Um, the Elements Live. We're doing the Elements mm -hmm. Live all, uh, on, on Facebook. Yes. But it's it's uh, all over the internet where we're, we're uh, talking to different elements of life, culture, you know, the, the, and that's that's something you should be looking out, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, keep supporting this show because again, we all keep need to keep this going and ride the reins of independent artists. Definitely. Well, thank you for coming. We're gonna get back into the videos. Vid.io. This is an independent-only music video show. Stick with us. Rich Biatch! Just hit a button, Morty, give me a beat! Oh man, okay, alright, um... <laughs>
let me fuck. Bitch. Still fuck with a blick cause I can't trust her. Bitch. An angel vial visual. Put that pressure on their ass if they out here looking bad, huh? Put that pressure on their ass, pull up flexing like it's that, huh? Applying pressure, Disney bet my homie put you on a stretch. I ain't trying to talk, shorty in the little cuckoo, they ass special. This a baddie hit the line like, yeah, you made me feel a stretch. So that I ain't saving shit, don't look at me like that fella. I'm the ton of kings, shorty, yeah, I ton of things. Want the finer things, more than just designer jeans. If you rocking with me, you should go and follow me. And if you hating, bet your man bitch wanna swallow me. Like some handy phone, I'm flipping like a penny. Bezo with me, and we said you hit cities, getting lit. I remember 720s, I love Yola Free Bro City. I remember busting two for telling I should get her with me. And I'm uh, now on my mama, I got bitches. Shorty hate telling stories, cause she broke you looking silly. I be gagging with the gang, yeah, everybody fucking with me. And I'm locked in with the Saints, tell them niggas come and get me. Put that pressure on their ass. Nah, fuck that. Get caught up and get slumped at. If she leave, I know she gon' come back. I ain't chasing not so you can run fast. I was really in the field, that's a fun fact. I really have a rose, I can up that. Show you little real strange, you a suspect. Put that pressure on their ass if they out here looking bad, huh? Put that pressure on their ass, pull up flexing like it's that, huh? Applying pressure, Disney bet my homie put you on a stretch. I ain't trying to talk. Shorty in the little cuckoo, they ask special. Mr. Betty hit the line like, yeah, you made me feel a stretch. So I ain't say this shit. Don't look at me like that fella. I'm the ton of kings. Shorty, yeah, I ton of things. Want the finer things, more than just designer jeans. If you rockin' with me, you should go and follow me. And if you hatin', bet your man bitch wanna swallow me. This is vid.io that's independent only. I'm sure T, thanks to my special guest Houston for coming today. And we're gonna introduce our hot spot of the week. That's the video that we're highlighting for the show. Now who is it this week? It's Brooklyn Marie. Brooklyn Zoo. Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you, Brooklyn. The song is called <laughs> I Give Up. It's our hot spot of the week on vid.io.
And we have a special prize pack to our viewers. All you need to do is go to our YouTube page, vid.io, V-I-D, capital I-O, and subscribe, and then take a screenshot of that so you can prove that you have subscribed, send it to us. You could win our prize pack. It's provided by Decor for You, Balloons and Beyond, and contributing to this prize pack is music and, and goodies from Milk the Game Clothing, D-Lo from Milk the Game Clothing, Young and Greedy, Bo the Hustleholic, and Curvy Nation. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube, vid.io, and then show us proof that you've subscribed and you'll be entered into that drawing.